I had a, a show in just my friend's cafe, but it kind of pushed me to sort of put together a whole show, uh, which was kind of exciting. And I noticed that um, everything was really cohesive and, and I was really quite happy with the work that I had done. I thought, well, really, there's nowhere to go from here. <laughs> That's not true at all. Um, I really found afterwards just that, um, yeah, I, I pushed my work in a general direction, but it just wasn't quite there yet. I, I feel that it's just stronger and a bit more confident than it than it was before, and it, it feels a little more honest. Before, I felt um, somewhat apologetic and, and shy about making things. I feel now that I'm at a place where I can actively talk to somebody if they're asking me questions. You know, I can talk to a gallery owner, I can talk to other people that are interested in my work and it doesn't feel so um, forced or difficult. I had my first solo show this summer as well in Vancouver, um, which was pretty great. Just, you know, making a body of work and seeing it all up uh, in, a, in a legit gallery was, was pretty exciting. I went to London and I went to the Royal Academy of Art and I saw that they had an open call for their summer show where they accept 12,000 submissions worldwide. So it's the largest open call in the world. And I got in and it was just kind of this life-changing experience. I think it sort of really cemented this idea that um, I can do things. <laughs>